guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> hello everyone welcome back to my channel today is tuesday i just got home from dinner and drinks and i'm sitting on the floor of my girly room and i have an unboxing to do i'm so excited so even though it's really late i thought i would do a quick unboxing and i'm gonna try and promise not to ramble but there's so much information that I want to share with you guys, and there's so much information I'd like to get from you guys. So, all right, let's get started. First of all, welcome back. Get comfortable. Hope you're having a fabulous week. I'm having a great week. I am feeling really good. I've been working on a lot of things for myself, a lot of um, meditation, a lot of breathing, a lot of yoga, and a lot of shopping, but a lot, a lot, not a lot of purchases, but some good things. So today is going to be a little bit of a shock. Today is Louis Vuitton Day, and it's usually Cartier Day, and it's usually Chanel Day, but today is Louis Vuitton Day. I'm shocked myself. I really am. So let me first say, get comfortable, relax. I hope everyone feels comfortable and is feeling really cozy. Okay, so <laughs> first I want to say I have to give props where props are due. I want to say thank you to my dear friend, Lux Purse Love. She's the first person who has inspired my love, my re-love for Louis Vuitton. I was watching her video on her Chanel, not her Chanel. Well, I do watch her Chanel, of course. I was watching her Louis Vuitton collection and as she was touching the canvas, I was like, yes, I miss my Louis Vuitton canvas. I'm like, I really miss Louis Vuitton pieces. I will never not be a Chanel girl. I love my Chanel. My Chanel is, I, I love it. It makes me so happy. But I wanted to get a fun summer carefree bag. So I started watching Lux's video and I'm going to list her below. First of all, she's the nicest person you will ever meet. Go watch her videos. I'm sure you're watching it already. She's so fabulous. She was um, showing all her canvas and her um, Louis Vuitton collection. And then I started watching Leo Lion LV. Now, Leo, I remember from the purse forum, she's such a great person. She has this amazing, amazing, amazing collection of Louis Vuitton. And now she's just starting to get into Chanel as well, which is exciting. And she has a beautiful Cartier collection. Go watch her videos if you don't watch her um, already. So she did a review on the bag that I got in a different print, but she kind of sealed the deal for me in buying this bag. So Lux, Lux Purse Love ignited my flame with Louis Vuitton. Leo Lion LV did a review on this bag. I'm like, that's it. I have to have it. And then I started watching Minx for All. And I'm sure you guys know about her. She's a great YouTuber and she reviews everything. Like she does thorough reviews on Louis Vuitton. And I'm like, yes, I miss Louis Vuitton. I mean, I love Hermes and I love Chanel, but I need a carefree bag. Anyway, these ladies are wonderful, and uh, I hope you do follow me on Instagram as well because I'm starting to post more on Instagram. My friend has a huge Instagram account. She's a fabulous person. Um, she said, what's up with you? Like, why are you doing Instagram again? Because I used to do Instagram a long time ago, and I said, honestly, if you want to know the reason, I said... I have so much fun and so much enjoyment interacting with luxury people that I have to do that. It's it's such a joy for me. I ha recently had a few negative people with um, luxury purchases, and I was like, you know what? I know exactly where to go. YouTube, Instagram, purse form. Why am I away from those places? Those are the places where people get you. Like They get that you want to spend your money here. So I'm back on Instagram um, again. Please follow me and you know interact. I love interacting with people who will never judge you, who will enable in a healthy way, and who really appreciate you know, that you're into that as well. So I want to say thank you to all those YouTubers and Instagrammers because it has been rough. I've been judged for like luxury things recently and just having other people relate to you and to what you want, it makes me feel good. So I know that's my little soapbox of the day. Anyway, I have great news. I ran into a subscriber today as well. Tiffany, first of all, I had so much fun with you in Cartier. I had so much fun and you're beautiful. We'll get back to Tiffany in a minute. So I just wanted to say hi. I'll tell you the Tiffany story. So 
Leo Lion inspired this purchase. So you guys ready to see? I have not had a Louis Vuitton bag, and yes, my ribbon got a little messed up. Whatever. I have not had, oh, I gotta take off this ring. Thank you guys for the feedback of the free vulva ring. I will love this baby forever and ever and ever. So I haven't had a Louis Vuitton bag in a long, a new Louis Vuitton bag in a long time. Watch these beautiful ladies and their collections. Watched um, Leo unbox, not unbox, but review this bag. I was like, you know what? I need it. I wanted a fun summer casual bag. I will always love my Chanel. I love the um, Hermes Birkin. I mean, not the Birkin. Well, I do like the Birkin, but I really love the garden party. But I was like, what is a cute bag? So I was going to get the Lymington. I'll do a little peek. But I got this baby. Woo! This is in my favorite print. It is the Damier Azure Graceful MM. Oh, my God. I'm in love with this bag. This bag is so pretty. It is beautiful. It is Damier Azure, which is the cream and the grayish blue checks. And it has the rose ballerine interior. I was like, the other day, I went to a faraway Louis Vuitton, and they did not have, they had, um, this but it didn't have the rose ballerine interior and i was like no I, yeah so i finally found my beauty my baby this is the graceful mm it's a quite here let me just um remove her her jacket i know we're weird on here aren't we like we these are our babies okay so i removed her her coat and she's beautiful she has pleating on the sides look at this she has pleating i'm sure you're familiar with this bag it came out um last year in the fall it's beautiful pleating on the sides look at that pleat beautiful pleat it has the magnetic magnetic closure it's a perfect hobo another pleat um really nice brass rings it comes with a luggage tag the um graceful replaced the um delightful bag so i'm so i went i'm free balling it today wait it's not free balling free balling is like no underwear right okay no i'm not free balling i'm doing this with the one hand hubby is hubby's done he will not well, he'll be back. Thank you for the hubby comments um, that he did a good job filming. He did a fabulous job. He will be back. Um, he, he just needed a break. He, he's been shopping with me a lot and he's been really patient and I appreciate him. But I was like, okay, fine. Don't do it. I'll do it with one hand. So please forgive me. I have to get a better setup. I know I say that all the time, but I've been gone. Like, what is it? Like, is it like eight or nine o'clock at night? Maybe it's like 10 and I've been gone since like six o'clock in the morning. So I don't have a lot of time. All right. Anyway, this is my new bag. Damier Azure is my favorite print. And if you remember my other videos, I have the Mila pochette. Oh my God, I have to go get it. I have to get the Mila pochette. So I got this today and I wanted to, okay, what was weird is I did a live, if anyone saw I did a live Instagram um, and I was asking you guys what small leather good would match. I got in trouble at Louis Vuitton. I did. It was funny. What was funny is when I was doing my Instagram live, my Cartier sales associate follows me on Instagram. And she saw that I was doing the live and she ran all the way to Louis Vuitton and ran into Louis Vuitton and gave me a hug and was like, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Like, why are you visiting me? And I think the Louis Vuitton people got mad at me. They got mad at me. Anyway, I got scolded at at Louis Vuitton, but I'm not going to make this a negative video, but I got scolded at. First of all, I got asked nice to stop filming. And I said, of course. And then I got scolded at by somebody from corporate. So that kind of left a mean, bad taste in my mouth. Uh, I didn't want to make any like, I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But they could have said it in a nicer way. That's all I'm going to say. They could have approached me in a nicer way. Louis Vuitton, if you're watching, which I know you're not, but you should treat your clients. If you want customers to become clients, you have to treat them nice. And your corporate person yelled at me. So I left the bag and the other thing that I bought with my husband. And I'm like, here, pay for it. He wound up buying something else that I didn't even want that is being ordered for me. Um, and I ran, out, I ran out of the store and I ran to Cartier. And my, as soon as I got to Cartier, I started hugging everybody because they're so nice to me in there. They're so wonderful. And I'm like, give me a hug. I just got yelled at at Louis Vuitton. Anyway, I'm happy I have my bag. Let's see what's in the other bag. So when I went into Cartier, I was like, 
my sister says she's like, what jewelry do you want to see? Blah, 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 blah. And guess what happened? Somebody came over and she was like, I recognize your voice. Are you my luxury indulgences? And I said, yes, I absolutely am. I am my luxury indulgences. And of course, I had no makeup. Well, I had a little bit of makeup on, but I had yoga pants on. I had a Nike sweatshirt. Of course, when I'm looking <coughs> like a bum, maybe that's why Louis Vuitton words mean to me. I don't know. Of course, when I was looking like a bum is when I ran into somebody. So Tiffany, I had such a good time with you. I made sure Tiffany got her champagne at Cartier. <laughs> I made sure she had a glass of champagne with me and I helped her pick out pieces. Tiffany, you have to let me know. I want to have drinks with you and I want to go shopping with you because you seem so much fun. And sh this girl, Tiffany, is gorgeous. And she said she got the juice on clue from watching my video. Thank you so much. And you have to get that love, girl. She tried on the 10 Diamond Love and I can't believe how good it looked on her. I was like envious. I'm like, I'm jealous. It looks better on you than it does on me. And it did. It looked much better on her than it did on me. So the next piece. So, all right. Any Louis Vuitton lovers or Louis Vuitton buyers, and tell me what's going on. Please. I'm desperate for you to leave me a comment of what's going on. What is happening with canvas? So I, I got this bag. So happy. I wanted this small cosmetic case. Not in stock. I wanted... Um, a key clay, not in stock. Um, I have the Mila. I'm going to use that. What else did I wanted? The little, I wanted like a little snap. Kit. I wanted small leather goods in Azure. They had no stock of anything. There's like no stock. Why does Louis Vuitton have no stock? What is going on? Are they really trying to be like Hermes or, uh, okay, I, not a rant, but what the hell? Like when you think of Louis Vuitton, you think of instant gratification, right? I mean, it's not something that you have to order. They're like, we'll order it for you. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what do you mean you order it for me? You, you should have 10. I don't get it. So I'm looking for the small cosmetic bag. Um, I guess I'll get a clay. <clears throat> I wanted the little um, rosary card case, but what, do they not make it anymore in Azure? I don't even know. Guys, I used to be on the Louis Vuitton purse form all the time. Like, all the, I was a big Louis Vuitton collector, and then boom, I stopped. So please, Louis Vuitton people, tell me, are the small leather goods, do they not make them anymore? Are they hard to get? Do you have to reserve stuff with Louis Vuitton? This is insane. Anyway, I'm happy about my bag. Let's see this next purchase. I got this next purchase, another one. I originally got this last week, and I will unbox the new one because the sales associate sold me a damaged one. That's another reason. I think that's why I stopped Louis Vuitton. I wanted to start buying jewelry, and I stopped buying Louis Vuitton because, um, honestly, the sales... <sighs> I don't know. I, I didn't find, like, I wanted to buy stuff, and they just, uh, it was like a big hassle. So this is so cute. Look at this little thing I just got. I love notebooks, and I saw this on the purse forum, and I was like, this is so pretty. So I got this notebook, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is the new summer, um, spring, summer Louis Vuitton trunks collection. And it is beautiful. You open it up and look, oh, pink. Pink is my favorite color, guys. I love pink. I tried on the Speedy in this print and it was a little bit too busy for me. Ah, that's another thing. I was taking pictures and filming at the other Louis Vuitton location and they didn't care. They were fine with it. And I get it if it's a corporate thing, but just don't talk to me. Mean. Anyway, I got this notebook. And now, now I have two notebooks. So what happened was last week, the day this came out, I was so excited about the notebook. And I asked the 1866 to hold this for me at a close, at a, at a, you know, my old boutique where I would shop. And they didn't hold it. When I went into the store, they're like, we have no recollection, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it's got damaged pages. So, I don't know. Would this bother you guys? Like all these like little crumply papers. I'm picky. I am. I'm not going to lie. I'm a picky person. If I'm spending money, I want to have things that are, I want to crumple them up. Let me crumple them up. You know what I mean? Don't give it to me crumpled. Especially, oh, I did watch Leo's video and she said this is refillable if you put it in as a service part. So, Leo Lion LV said this was refillable if you put it in as a service part. So thank you so much for that tip. Another reason why I love 
this community, everyone shares all their great information that they have. So this is my purchase. Evidently, my husband, I was supposed to just reserve things without putting a credit card in. Evidently, he reserved it with a credit card and charged me the Louis Vuitton, um, the Rose Ballerine Vernie key case, and he put a Palm D'Amour cosmetic case to be ordered. I didn't even want that. Um, I don't know why I guess to sell it. Whatever. I'll just return it. I didn't even authorize it or anything. So I guess my husband did. I don't know what was happening. It was such a weird day. So what small leather goods should I get for my new bag? I'm excited about my new bag. I am. I'm excited. I won't wear it yet because it's still cold here. And now I have two notebooks. I feel like I should, um, I don't know. I, I want to like, I know these are rare and sold out. And I would like try to maybe sell it to one of my Louis Vuitton friends, of course, not to make a profit, since it's hard to find. But I don't know if somebody's going to be um, upset about if you see it to the side, you could see how the paper's upset. So that was kind of crappy to sell it to me like that, whatever. And that's another thing I told the the gentleman, I said, um, yeah, you know, when I picked this up, it was um, damaged. And he said, you know, most people would take it anyway. And um, he would he could sell it to 20 other people. And I get it, you can sell it to 20 other people. But and that he, that pressured me, then I'm like, I have to buy it, I have to buy it. So I bought it anyway. So don't put scare tactics into me for Louis Vuitton. Do it for like Hermes, but please, I expect for Louis Vuitton, I expect like comfortable, reliable. I don't want like, oh, 20 other people could buy it. I know this has been a long video. I am so sorry. I can never stop talking. Like somebody said, you Italians, you can't stop talking. I can't. I'm an Italian. We talk, we talk, we talk. We talk with our hands. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I'm excited about my notebook. I was going to use this as a travel diary. And right now I'm not traveling except for work. So I don't know. want it to be filled with work. I want to, maybe I'll make this, I don't know. Maybe I'll frame this. This is so darn cute. I, I'm in love with it and I'm in love with my new bag. So thank you for watching. Please um, like and subscribe. I am doing some giveaways and I'm going to go live this week on Facebook and I'm starting to post more on Instagram. So please follow me there as well. Please follow the beautiful ladies. I'm sure you already do if you're watching Little On Me, but they are fabulous. So I hope everyone has a great week. I will come back with a review on the Juice John Clue Ring. And um, these ladies are inspired me. Now I want, they just filmed what's in my bags. So I got to go watch um, the rest of them. So now I'm going to go watch their videos. See, it's fun. I love this. I'm having a good time. I really am. Thank you so much for sharing with me. I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.